The mission of the Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement is to enforce the laws that preserve, protect, and conserve Hawaii's unique and limited cultural, natural, and historical resources that are held in public trust for current and future generations of visitors and the residents of Hawaii'ine. The total area of Dokeer's jurisdiction spans the length of the state of Hawaii from mountain out to the ocean, three miles out to sea. It includes the fourth largest coastline in the nation, over a million acres of hunting grounds, and 23,000 acres of inland surface water and 3 million acres of state ocean waters. We have approximately 100 dole care officers. They include about 90 full-time paid officers and 10 volunteer officers. Dole care's law enforcement operations span the wide range of natural resource law enforcement. They include aquatic law enforcement, fish and game, natural resources law enforcement pertaining to our forestry and watersheds, the enforcement of laws relating to our streams. They also include recreational boating safety, enforcement in state parks and small boat harbors, as well as general law enforcement operations similar to police duties in our small boat harbors and parks. Dokeer is one of the only law enforcement agencies in the state of Hawaii. And as such, because we are focused on natural resources law enforcement, it is important that Dokeer, as one of the few agencies charged with natural resources law enforcement, handle this mission to the best of its capability. Community Fisheries Enforcement Unit on Maui is a unit dedicated to the integration of both education and enforcement. It's geographically located in the North Maui area and spans an area of operations of about nine miles. And it's within this area of focus that they combine strong law enforcement and educational interaction with the community. Well, because of the combination of strong law enforcement and educational interaction with the public, we have found that this combination is very successful. The compliance rate prior to the initiation of the unit was right about 50 to 60 percent. After a few months of operation, we found that compliance level to raise significantly to where the compliance rate is approximately 90 to 100 percent. Well, one of the main partnerships we have is the Makai Watch program, which is loosely based on the Neighborhood Watch program. In this program, members of the community provide observation and incident reporting to DOCARE and fill the gap as eyes and ears so that they can report natural resource violations or other suspicious activity to DOCARE and we can conduct follow-up and enforcement action based upon those observation and reports. Everybody all going to get the same court date, same time, yeah? Um, like I said, it's just a court appearance that you got to go to. Um, Outside of our enforcement role, we also have a strong educational role. Part of what we do is educational presentations in our community schools and at community festivals and events, such as the Hawaii Fishing Day. Um, with these types of uh, festivals and events, we provide the uh, public with information relating to our laws and the department's activities. Well, one of the biggest challenges we face is a very limited budget. Our operations require proper funding. Um, funding has always been a, a challenge for DOCARE that we um, continuously work on with our friends at the legislature. In addition, mission creep is another challenge that the division faces. While the division has a natural resources role and focus, with mission creep, we've had to expand our operations into areas that were once handled by other agencies. They include our small boat harbors and recreational boating safety. With these types of um, increased um, responsibilities, uh, the focus on our natural resources and the enforcement of natural resources laws has been very challenging.